Hello everyone, so today I'm demoing the Raspberry Pi um, configuration as a media streamer. Um, this little device, uh, if you don't know, is called a Raspberry Pi. It's a credit card size Linux box that um, is now taking over as a new candidate uh, for the Ultimate Media uh, player. So as you can see, it's very small, very compact. This is my version. Um, comes with a acrylic case uh, has a um, <clears throat> has an uh, RCA out HDMI you got two USB ports Ethernet and uh, it is powered by a three and a half uh, sorry micro S micro USB cable and uh, I have a little mod that uh, is included uh, on my version of the media player. Um, that is a mod to have the um, SIM card instead of a SD card protruding out, usually about one or two inches out of the box. Um, it now goes inside and um, uses micro SD rather than a full SD card. So you don't have that protruding card which can fall out or be bumped okay and um, I just have the box actually powered off of my TV which you cannot see here unfortunately but um, the whole idea <clears throat> is when I turn on my TV my Raspberry Pi comes up and I boot up my Raspberry Pi <coughs> and the Raspberry Pi is programmed or has a version of Linux installed called RasBMC. So it's XBMC on a <coughs> on over top of a version of um, of uh, Debian. Okay. So as you see it just takes a Takes a little bit from cold start to boot up. And there we go. So from the main menu we can see uh, the different options. So we have live TV, videos, movies, music, programs, system, uh, weather and pictures. Now um, <clears throat> the best thing about uh, RasBMC or XBMC for that matter is that unlike some media players on the market, uh, it's not be, it's not uh, what you see is what you get. There's always uh, different add-ons we can add um, to our list of apps that we use to uh, to do certain things. So, for instance, we're able to um, just go to the add-on section, and there are many uh, different add-ons that we can put onto the RasBMC to do different things. So for instance, we have Revision 3 here. So you can watch Revision 3 directly on the box by downloading a simple plugin and um, and then there you go. And the best thing about this is uh, under the hood, we still have a full version of Linux to do a whole bunch of mods and um, there's always more and more development, whereas a firmware-based um, media player will take uh, will take longer to get an update, and it's dependent on the company that you buy the media player off of, rather than the community, uh, since this is an open source um, system. So. Uh, a couple of cool features that I'll show you is, um, for instance, the integration with uh, one channel. So we can go up to one channel. Okay, takes a minute to load, and there are various TV shows um, that we can that we can list from. Okay.
Another cool feature is the movies dashboard. So we have uh, a list of our movies up here. Uh, the best thing I like about this versus some media players is it actually downloads all of your album art and actually with excuse me actually with no further not much more configuration uh, goes ahead and um, puts all of your genres for you so actually a movie that's actually action in the IMDB that's the uh, Internet Movie Database will actually show up as action in um, in your XBMC file manager, and you'll see the SD and HD. Okay, so it'll actually tell you if it's a standard def or a high def video, and um, we. For the sake of this video not getting taken down, I'm not going to play any any videos. Okay. Okay. So that's my um, that's my little review of the Raspbian C uh, as an OS and my version of the Raspberry of the um, Raspberry Pi as a media server, sorry as a media streamer rather, a media streamer. I have uh, I have the I'm have the acrylic case with the SD mod, and um, I have it fully configured so it's plug and play ready to go. <clears throat> okay, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now um, I do not recommend uh, as long as you have an iPhone or an Android device. I don't recommend really going to spending. Uh, some extra money on the whole um, Raspberry Pi media kit with the IR sensor and the uh, media and the remote because the app, the uh, XBMC uh, remote control app on the Android is really is really cool. It has a lot of features that you won't get with an actual remote. I, I encourage you to check that out. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching this video.